right through me. Click on BBC News. Live from Washington, this is BBC News. The US National Security Advisor says intense discussions are continuing on whether to allow Ukraine to fire Western long-range missiles at Russia. At least 14 people are killed in Israeli airstrikes in central and southern Gaza. New polls give Kamala Harris a lead over Donald Trump in the wake of the presidential debate. Hello, I'm Lucy Hawkins. US National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan says intense conversations are ongoing to decide whether to allow Ukraine to hit Russia with long-range weapons donated by Western allies. Mr Sullivan said on Saturday that President Biden will spend the rest of his term putting Ukraine in the best possible position to fight Russian aggression. Mr Sullivan, speaking shortly after the head of NATO's military committee, said Ukraine has the right to defend itself against Russia even beyond its own borders during the committee's annual meeting in Prague. Also on Saturday, Russia and Ukraine exchanged 206 prisoners of war in a deal brokered by the UAE. Russia said the soldiers it released were captured during Ukraine's incursion into the Kursk region. Russia also saying on Saturday it's recaptured a village in Ukraine's eastern Pokrovsk region hours after it shelled 15 other border towns. Ukrainian troops telling the BBC they're worried Russia is trying to surround them. Aruna Ayinga reports. The latest attacks in Ukraine's Sumy region. Volodymyr Zelensky has accused the West of emboldening Vladimir Putin with its hesitation over long-range missiles. President Biden and Sakir Starmer had met to decide whether to allow Kyiv to use storm shadow missiles against targets inside Russia. I don't think much about Vladimir Putin. Despite this put-down, there's still a cautious approach. 